Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder and we're starting a new series and a new game for the channel. One that I've played many times before, but this time around we are playing Factorio and we're playing a modded Factorio. So if this is your first introduction to Factorio, the general idea still applies, but there is a whole nother uh, stack of things to do uh, on top of the mod, uh, on top of the original game. And uh, I have not played in so long, so I don't even know what's what anymore. I don't know what's for base game, and I don't know what's the new mod. So we're going to explore together. We are doing the uh, space exploration mod pack that you can get right from the game's mod uh, hub itself in-game. And that's where we're starting. So you guys are here to watch me struggle without any prior knowledge of how this mod pack, wor mod pack works. There's also a few other mods that I've installed, um, such as lighting mods, reach mods, um, walking through things mods and other quality of life mods and so being that the first uh, situation here is that we've crash landed on our planet so let's go ahead and get started with um, handling our normal situation here so looks like we have ooh, Informatron has popped up hi Chuck Thunder I am Informatron your personalized guide to the galaxy you can find me at any time by pressing I I again will hide this window. Okay, good. So this is Informatron. He's going to teach me everything about the mods. The mods that have added pages here. So here's the space exploration and everything here to understand for that. Signal transmission, equipment gantry, jetpack mod, and then the other mods here. And then I have other mods obviously installed that are not explained here. But <clears throat> Informatron will make sure that we are aware of what's going on. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start in dismantling our crashed uh, wreckage here. Now, we will get a plethora of resources out of this, so we're going to go and pick it all up as quickly as possible. Nothing too crazy here. Um, just picking up the pieces, and you'll see here that we're going to be getting iron plates and some stone and other things out of this. And we already have a few things in our inventory, too, to begin with. So... We'll check in with you guys once I've cleaned this up and harvested basic resources resources just in the general region, including wood and other things. See you in a moment. All right, so we've gone and harvested the entire wreckage. We've got a handful of resources. And so, as you guys can see, let's open up the map here. The map has resources on it besides wood, stone, and metals and stuff. We have iron ore, stone ore, coal, copper ores in larger areas, and then we have... Um, these zones here which we can harvest later nothing we can do with them now so our main goal is to like find these resources and here we are we have a little patch of all four major resources right here in the center of the map and that's where we're gonna start now obviously you need to harvest these things and um, we are, we're gonna want to uh, gather resources as soon as possible and what to help that uh, the same process kind of uh, functions for uh, oh here we are you can't really see it it's underneath all this grassy area here the same kind of process functions for all the materials that we can just grab it like this so underneath here there's a coal which you can kind of see it um, if we just hold right click on it we'll harvest some stone and other things in here we're getting coal but just really slow process so in our inventory which to make life a little easier I'm gonna go ahead and load each of these items which we'll be making a bunch of at some point um, even resources like these um, we can also gather a little bit of this because I want to have the slots filled okay put that there put copper or there and then like that uh, I don't know that we'll need steel these are items in which that will load in at some point but for the most part this is all we're really gonna need um, and so first being our mining drill now we can put down the mining drill um, like anywhere you'll see that it turns red when we're no longer in the uh, zone uh, so we're gonna put it down you know relatively in the middle of the zone and then in order for this mining drill to work it needs fuel as you see it's flashing a little symbol for fuel 
we uh, can put coal or wood in there, and so since coal is the one we're going to end up getting here, we're going to end up putting wood in there, I mean coal in there, but what we need is another mining drill. If we can make one, can we make one? We need stone bricks. Okay, so here's our first little hurdle here. I would like another mining drill because I would like one mining drill to feed the other mining drill coal so that they can just continue functioning normally. Um, so in order to do that, we need to put a stone furnace down, which as you can see, we do have here. So just pick any place for right now, which is not on top of our resources. So I'm just going to place it over here. Um, and then now, since I have long reach on, I could click this from anywhere, but generally you have to be closer to it. So we're going to go ahead and put some coal into this and we are going to get some stone makeup because in order to make this, we need some stone bricks and stone bricks are made by smelting stone into stone bricks. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. And then once we have enough of them, which we only need four of them, so we're already there, we can make another mining drill. And while that's being finished being crafted up, there we are. Self-feed it. And then if we just put one into there, they are now going to self-feed each other indefinitely. Um, and we're going to want to make more of these. We need some cylinder engines, and luckily our um, single cylinder engines, uh, they gave us a small stack for those. Otherwise, those would have to be crafted first. Um, and that's going to save us some trouble. And so we're going to go ahead and build another I don't know, small handful of those so we can do other smelting. Let's build one more. Okay. And while those are doing that, we'll go ahead and take this out of here so we can build a couple more mining drills. Because what I really like to get solid here is a self-feeding perpetual motion of machines. Um, hmm. Okay, so that's alright. We could do two, just like this. Don't have to be feel you can make it like a four plot where each one is feeding each other. So we're just going to go ahead and do like that. So at least they feed each other. So we have four going all together. Um, then we have enough stone that we can make more. No, so let's go ahead and put some more in. Now there's a little trick. Now I can go like this. Oops. Well, that's something you learned. I just learned there. Um, stone can also make pathways, which makes you run a little faster, it looks like. Yeah, just a slight bit. So what we're going to have to be careful of is not to do that. So that means right-clicking is going to be careful. So. Right clicking as you can see here would place this so if I hold um, the stone here and right click it'll automatically fill these um, and I'm hitting so right clicking doesn't work if I hit control and do that it'll insert um, and then one of the mods that I have on will evenly distribute it if I drag it across several and then I let go and then it'll distribute them evenly so I don't need them all in there I can just put it all into here for now actually we'll hold on to a few of the stones separately and we'll go ahead and put some coal in there again because we need more stone. And so, with that being said, why don't we put a little bit of coal into all of these. And here I am doing a little evenly, right clicking with control. And, oh, we have stone in two of them. Whatever, stone's going in both. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put some of that in there. And one of these in there as well. So this is one of those things. I'm also going to hit Alt on the keyboard. A lot of little things in this game. So we can see what's being made in these. So we're making iron and copper plates um, by doing that. And then if we want to collect from here, we just hold right click and then hold the control and right click. And then it will automatically harvest everything but one of the coals. Um, and then we can go ahead and place evenly in all of these. Just like that. So that way... Those are all evenly filled. Well, it's not, it doesn't look like it's evenly filled, does it? I don't know what's causing that to be like that. Whatever. It's not a huge deal that it doesn't evenly distribute. I, I honestly don't care. Um, all right, so we need to get, let's get more of that. And then we need more of these, because we're gonna need more mining drills, preferably four each, because we're gonna wanna get some iron ore going. Now these will not deposit into each other. So that's one of the downfalls. So we will have to 
have them deposit into something. Hence a chest. So can we make a chest? There we go. We'll do a wooden chest. Right there. Blop. And then obviously we'll do the usual. I did do it evenly, didn't it? It doesn't. I, I'm, I can't explain what's going on here. And clear shortcut. Okay. So I don't know why my um, system's not working. I don't know what the um, the special click is then. I can't explain it. Whatever. Not a big deal. Alright, so that's going to be making that up. Let's make some more mining drills. Need more stones. So we'll go ahead and drop that in there. Because that's what we're going to make harvesting now. More stone. Okay, so now we'll have two stone harvesters. We don't need a ton of stone harvesters, so one ought to do it. Go ahead and collect more of that. Don't need that in there. Okay, so... Alright, so yeah, it's not doing even distribution. What it seems to be doing is doing a f half the stack in there and then half of the half a stack in there. So whatever. Um, Alright, so that's going to be filling that, and that allows us to uh, harvest more of that stuff. Go ahead and put that into here so we can get more stones. And then we need, obviously, more murder drills. Um, let's do at least one more. We need some iron plates. Okay, so we are officially now reached another bottleneck. We need iron plates. So, um, we, oh, luckily we had one there. Um, and so good, we're gonna go to do that. One more burner drill. Filling a box. And just like that. Yeah, it's two and a half. I don't, I don't understand. And then these green dots are showing you that they are all being well funded with each other here. Um, if you ever see a different symbol like red, it means that it's starving for resources. And if it's yellow with a pause symbol, that means it doesn't. Uh, it has all the resources, but it can't output or something. So, all right. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and distribute more of this. All right. So, let's get. What do we need now? So we have everything going here. Oh, let's get a stack of that going. Let's get a stack of that going. We'll go ahead and put this into there and make iron plates. And then you'll make copper plates. So we have two making copper plates, two making iron plates. And then I don't need anything else being made right now at this moment. Um, I also have the game set to peaceful mode, which means I will not be getting attacked by the biters in the game unless I provoke them. I prefer that, and especially now in a series in which I have no idea what I'm doing. I am trying to learn, and I do not want myself to get eliminated too soon, uh, because I don't know what I'm doing. So we're trying our best to figure that part out. All right. We might do two more burner drills here. Uh, stone bricks we need more of. And we need iron plates. Two more, because I'd like to get another... Um, I'd like to get two more, uh, like just like this arrangement here. There we go. Alright, so now that should be going nice and strong. Let's get a full stack of copper smelting down. Three, two, one, full stack. Boom. Take the copper plates that we can out of there. Take the iron plates we can out of there. 
take the stone out of there. So now we should be pretty solid on this. So now, while we're doing this, so you guys think, okay, Chuck, what are we doing here? We're just collecting ores and we're making a lot of noise for no reason? Well, no. We There's a plan here. Um, so we definitely want to consider um, what we're working on, What like what are we working towards. So clearly the, the space exploration mod is for space exploration. That is clear. But um, we need, how are we going to get there? So we have a few options uh, to start. So you see here, this is a burner assembly machine. So this is going to run off of coal. Um, so we'll go ahead and put a stack of coal into it. Actually, we can't yet. Um, so we need to decide what is this assembly machine going to build for us. Now, it ideally should be making things we're going to be using. So we're, we're making a lot of mining drills and all that stuff. So maybe we can make some engines for them because um, certain things require engines. The mining drill requires engines. Um, so if we need to build engines, though, it needs iron gears and iron plates. And we don't even make iron pl iron gears yet. So we might turn this into an iron gear making machine, uh, especially since the science we need is going to also gonna require because science is used to come up with new research, which we are going to go ahead and start doing that too as well. Now, we're not being super efficient here because if we were, we would have already put down our research station. So we're going to go ahead and do that now too. So we'll go ahead and drop our science right in let's go choose our first research our first research i think should be fuels or um, logistics so fuels allow us to start building fuel sources for maybe vehicles and other things and this helps and this one here logistics is all about conveyor belts so i think that one might be the most important but we don't have enough science for it so we're going to go do this one first so we'll hit start research and now we have it in there but again like all other things right now they require fuel so we just drop the fuel in and here um, let's work on making uh, gears and gears uh, require plates so we'll drop some plates in and we'll drop in some coal and we'll go collect some more plates and some stone collect a stack of each So that is being done. Just trying to put as much of this stuff as we can into here. All right. Let's go ahead and put that in there too because we'll, we'll make some extras. All right. Cool. All right, so now all that's being done, this is making our research. We're getting up there our fuel processing. We have gears being made that are nearly out. And then, so gears are, like I said, are used to make the science. And so science requires um, copper plates too. So how are we going to make uh, gears into and copper plates into science? Well, we need another one of these guys, the burner assembly machines, which we need iron, more iron plates for. And we can go ahead and build. We'll just build a couple of them because we're going to need it. Okay. And we've got to finish our fuel processing one. So like I said, I'd like to continue up this tree here for logistics. So we're going to go ahead and start that research next. But as you'll see here, we don't have any science in here, so it's not going to progress. So let's get to that. Um, all right. So we have gears in here. And we just made a couple of more burners. So we're going to put a burner. Actually, I don't want to put burners right on top of that. We'll put it on the stone side, just like this. Um, and then this set of burners is going to make science. Now, in order to make science, though, it requires copper plates. So we'll go click that. And then since we have copper plates on us, we'll drop them in. And then we'll take the gears out of here and put them into here. And also, this needs fuel as well. So, as you can see, this is going to become a very fuel hungry situation. No mineable sources. Oh, look at that. You're out of resources. There we go. All right. So, with that being done, we now are going to have to add some coal into here. So, that's going to be making our science. Uh, see, now these red things indicate that we don't have what we need. And so, the science needs to be dropped into here. 
Um, so you know what? After this is done being, let's go ahead and let's go stop it real quick. Put it like that, because you'll see why in just a moment. Put you back in there. So, well, I, I don't want to have to keep on picking up these plates or p keep picking up the gears and dropping them into here to do it. So how are we going to do that? Well, we have a thing called a burner inserter, uh, which is great for saving us trouble on that regard. So we can go ahead and make one of these. Now, what's nice about doing this is that if you want to build one of these, it'll make some of the base ingredients for you. So it'll make iron sticks for me uh, so that it'll do these. So I'm going to make a couple of these. Because what this is going to do, and we're going to go ahead and drop that here. Actually, we don't need that anymore. Drop that here. And if we flat side is the side it's going to grab from, and the arrow is where it's going to dump to. So it just stole a little bit of coal, coal to put inside of itself because it also needs coal. And it's going to grab these uh, iron gears and put them into here. And then, on top of that, we're going to have it take the science out and drop it into there so it does it automatically for us so you can see where this automation stuff can really get really helpful we can continue doing this where everything that we do kind of just self sustains itself just like this and then we don't, and so right now, the only thing is that this is going to need iron plates. So what we could do is have these dump out from here into a conveyor belt. And then the conveyor belt can bring it over and grab off the conveyor belt and dump them into there. So we're not ready for flat, full automation yet, but I think you get the general gist of where we're going. And obviously there's a huge tech tree that we're going to have to unlock in order to get to the rocket. So we can do space capsule navigation in the end. So... There's a lot involved. We are not quite ready to go on that route. But uh, I sure hope you're enjoying this series so far. If you do like it so far, please do uh, subscribe and let me know what you think. Uh, obviously, it's just a one-man show here with me, and I'd like to show you guys the ropes and make new series, make new games uh, series for them, and really explore the, the, the world that we, we've created here, um, Chuck Thunder World, because... I have a lot of fun playing and I have a lot of fun having people enjoy themselves while uh, I play. And so please like, leave subscription, uh, like it, comment, give me suggestions of what I should do, what you want to see me do with my base. You know, you guys get a lay of the land here, which direction do I want to build, all that stuff. You guys all have a say if you participate. So if you could, be sure to like and subscribe. This is Chuck Thunder signing out and we'll see you in the next episode. Take it easy.